Assalamualaikum and uh, good day to Dr. Maman and GAs. My name is Amin Shakir Binano and my friend Muhammad Ani Akra will, will be presenting about uh, seismic attributes for fracture or fault identification. Okay, uh, first of all, what is seismic attribute? Seismic attribute is a quantitative, quantitative measure of a seismic characteristic of interest and it brings out details uh, in seismic data could otherwise go unnoticed and seismic attribute uh, it can enhance minor noise in data that could otherwise be uh, overlooked in this uh, presentation i will talk about the first three which is original amplitude variance and uh, instantaneous phase but for the last three lo the, the local structural azimuth curvature and coherency uh, will be uh, will be presented by anik so, the first one is original amplitude attribute. Original amplitude attribute is a signal processing attribute which measures the original input seismic traces amplitude. It is sensitive to lateral changes in amplitude. Uh, decrease in values equal to false. So, high in values uh, is not a fault. And in the seismic, the high amplitude indicated by yellow color while low amplitude indicated by blue and gray. So the blue and gray colors in the seismic section is false or fracture. Relay criterion is related to the original amplitude attribute. What is relay criterion? Uh, relay criterion is the accepted criterion that sets the seismic resolution of the wavelet that allows certain details to be captured. In, in our case, which is fault or fracture. And certain anomalies would not be captured if the window specified to collect the number of samples was not large enough. So, uh, relay criterion is like a parameter that needs to be set in order to um, capture in order to capture some, uh, some sample or data. This is the example um, from unlinked field. The seismic that we can see is a seismic that um, after we apply the original amplitude attribute, this is the result. As um, I mentioned uh, earlier, the yellow one is um, the high value of amplitude, which means no uh, fault or fracture. But the blue and grey color is fault or fracture. And we can see the blue and uh, grey and blue color is a fault area. Or fault zone. So uh, this is one of the attribute that we can apply to find the fault and or fracture. The second attribute that I'm going to talk is variance edge method attribute. This uh, attribute measures any dissimilarity uh, across waveforms or traces which is the polar opposite of coherency. It is best to utilize to identify areas of high vertical angle faults by extracting an edge volume from an input, input seismic volume, hence the name uh, edge method. So um, we can conclude that high variance equal, equal to high fault zone, but low variance equal, equal to low to not fault zone. In order to get a good result, we need to do the parameterization. So uh, the parameterization is basically inline and crossline filter length uh, had to be defined. The filter size determines how many horizontal traces are used to calculate the horizontal variance. Um, this, the, the example is the larger the size of the filter, the fault zone become more visible. And the number of traces used increases as the value set increases. This attribute can be fine-tuned afterwards to discover fractures when conventional interpretation will be unable to notice this disturbance. So these uh, the conventional interpretation or the, the normal interpretation that 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 couldn't uh, have, uh, detect the fracture. So uh, we can uh, do the uh, fine-tune afterwards to, to find the fracture. As uh, we can see here, these three uh, is the same seismic section, 
the same area undimmed field but um, the left hand side is uh, the variance with uh, the that as I mentioned earlier that we need to uh, we need to do parameterization so the filter right so the value is uh, low at the left hand side so the fault is not visible and after we increase the value the at the center we can see the fault is more clear is more clear and then we we put, we increase more the the we increase the value and then we can see the more more the, we can see the fault is more visible the third attribute is instantaneous phase attribute this attribute is classified as a complicated attribute in Petrel's list of volumetric attributes. Uh, continuities, faults, pinch out, bad interfaces, sequence boundaries, and regions of onlet patterns may all be detected using this attribute. This uh, attribute uh, is using uh, an equation which, which is phase equal to up 10 gf where FP represents the real part and GP represents the imaginary part. It is calculated without consideration for the waveform on a sample by sample basis. This attribute is used to uh, determine the continuity of weak events as well as to distinguish between tiny faults and beeping events. So, the manipulation of the Hilbert filter window was required for parameterization of this attribute, just like the previous attribute, the H method, this need to be uh, this this attribute need to do the parameterization, but this time is Hilbert filter. But what is Hilbert filter? Hilbert filter is based on the Hilbert transform. Now, what is Hilbert transform? Hilbert transform is a process that rotates each frequency component of the input or real seismic trace by 90 degree. To generate a new quadrature or imaginary trace. After modifying the Hilbert filter window, the fault zone in the faulted basement remains strongly displayed. Um, uh, the fault zone with high levels of disturbances might be successfully recognized using this attribute. For example, the Hilbert filter window was manipulated using three values 20, 50, and 100. So um, even though the the zone is uh, contain the high levels of disturbance, um, this attribute can help to detect the fault or fracture successfully. These are the manipulated uh, Hilbert transform filter. It is uh, 20, 50, and 100. Uh, even though the value is uh, manipulated, uh, we can still uh, clearly see the fault in the, the high disturbance zone so this attribute is very helpful to whoever is looking for the fracture or fault in the future and that's all for me um, so my friend Anik will continue to present the last three attribute thank you thank you Ayman now I will present about local structural azimuth attribute the local structure azimuth attribute is also used to characterize fault and it is under the category of structure method for the list of petrol attributes. Azimuth is a variable interpretation tool because it helps to define a local reflector surface upon which some estimation of discontinuity will be done. This attribute is formed and calculated on the basis of changes that occur in the deep and azimuth. Azimuth is also regarded as a deep azimuth and is usually measured from the north or from the inline seismic survey axis. It is measured in the direction of maximum downward dip and is usually perpendicular to the geologic stripe. Basically, there are no azimuth azimuthal changes when it comes to a horizontal reflector and hence any variation in a planar reflector in terms of azimuth will create an anomaly. The parameter to be motivated for this attribute is the computation method whereby the azimuth will be estimated either from the event, gradient 
or principal component after comparing the three methods it can be concluded that principal component give the most relevant result compared to the other two methods when sigma x y and z are increased the chaoticness is reduced and the result produced is smoother and the smoothness of the result depends on the size of the filter these are the result from the principal component 7 is the largest size of the filter which is give the best result in for the azimuthal attribute next i will present about curvature attribute curvature is one of the several geometric assessment attributes which measure how bent a curve is at a particular point on a two-dimensional or three-dimensional surface understanding and improving the imaging of the shape of the curve in seismic data allows uh, improved understanding and interpretation of features in subsurface this attribute is designed to emphasize uh, discontinuous events like faults and fracture in structural interpretation it also can be used to aid in the stratigraphic interpretation of features such as channel uh, reef compaction features and debris flow how the curvature attribute works is the, the more the band the higher the curvature value curvature is uh, extremely, extremely useful such attribute as it improves the image of both large and small scale geometric features in the subsurface for instance anticlinal features would have a positive curvature while synclinal features would have a negative curvature as you can see in the picture uh, flat features are uh, features that we have, we have a constant dipping place would exhibit a curvature close to zero uh, once this shape of features is determined geologic features can be extracted from the data uh, the most positive and most negative curvature are obtained by searching through all the normal curvature for the most positive and most negative values uh, this is the most covered positive curvature and this is the most negative curvature uh, in this both uh, photos in this both picture we can see the clear the clear uh, fog that you can see in the picture as you can see in the pointed by the arrows lastly i will present about coherence attribute Coherence is one of several seismic attributes which is a measure of similarity between a web form or traces in two dimensional or three dimensional seismic volumes. Uh, this attribute is designed to emphasize discontinuous events like faults in such a interpretation. Uh, it also can be used to aid in the stratigraphic interpretation. The seismic response changes in terms of uh, amplitude, frequency, or uh, end phase depending on the acoustic impedance, contrast, and uh, thickness of the layers above and below the reflecting boundary. Since uh, acoustic impedance is affected by the lithology, porosity, density, and fluid type of the subsurface layer, then strong lateral changes in impedance contrast give rise to strong lateral changes in waveform character. This lateral changes is what the coherency attribute measures. The calculated coherence volume dramatically uh, enhance the ability of the interpreter to observe structural and stratigraphic discontinuities. Uh, stratigraphic features uh, tend to display best on horizon or time size if the deep is not too large. Uh, structural features like fog uh, best seen and time or depth slices. Uh, coherency, coherence is also commonly referred to as a discontinuity and varies between 0 and 1. Typically high amplitudes shown with this attribute represent discontinuities in the data while low amplitudes represent continuous features. Best practice is to always examine the color bar as some of the seismic software may show the inverse 
these are the result after uh, coherence attribute is applied as you can see here on the arrow we can see clear we can see distinct features of fog shown here and this is the result this is the fog that interpreted from the uh, coherence attribute For such attribute volume uh, such as uh, coherence, uh, curvature, or azimuthal, the attribute represent an efficient and objective way to visualize and identify fault in the fault of fracture in the seismic data. Uh, for geometric attributes such as length, height, and fault segmentation can be accepted from such fault seismic attribute volume. Uh, in general, uh, which attribute give the best uh, result for the geologic features depends as much on the underlying geologic texture and the lithologies on the seismic data. That's all from us. Thank you.